Dear friends, today we will focus on instant VM recovery. Instant VM recovery will allow you to run virtual machine from the backup files. Since it is running from the backup file, this will improve the recovery time objective and minimize the downtime of your production workload. Let's see how this works. Go to the disk which will give you your backup files. Select the virtual machine which you want to perform instant VM recovery. Right click on that machine. Click instant VM recovery. Select the machine. From here you can select the recovery points. In my case I have only one recovery point. If you have scheduled the job for one week or two week, you can have the option to select multiple restore points. So I am selecting my full backup file, the latest restore point. I am clicking next. Recovery mode will give you two options, restore to the original location, restore to the new location. Restore to the original location will restore to the Hyper-V server, original Hyper-V server where the VM resides. Restore to another location will restore to a different Hyper-V server. Click next. Here in secure restore tab, you have an option to scan the backup file. So this will scan the backup file for any malware or something. You have an option here if you enable it, it will scan for the malware. If malware is found, proceed with recovery or you, can, you have an option to abort the VM recovery. So I will go with the default option which is disabled. I will click next click next since I already have the DC2 running in my Hyper-V it is giving me a warning that the following objects will be deleted from the infrastructure this will override the existing machine if any so in my case let it override this is a test environment so I'm clicking OK you have an option to power on target VM after restoring I will click finish as soon as I start the instant VM recovery you can see a new tab is appearing here which is called instant recovery. You can see the virtual machine is mounting now. If you go to the running job, you will see the progress of this backup job. I mean restore job. All VHDs were mounted successfully here, updating the VM configuration. You can see the virtual machine has been published successfully. So just to go to the instant recovery tab, you can see your virtual machine and see the status virtual machine is mounted. The virtual machine is up and running now. You can see the time it is taken to mount. For us it took less than 2 minutes. If you go to the instant recovery tab, just right click on the virtual machine you have an option to virtual machine open the virtual machine console from here just enter the credential here you can see veeam is allowing you to log into the console of the restored virtual machine no need to go to the Hyper-V server, no need to go to the VMware server. From the VBR console, you are able to log into the virtual machine directly. Your virtual machine is up and running now and you have access to the console. Now, we have to move this virtual machine to the production. I mean migrate the virtual machine to the production. Now just keep in mind virtual machine even now it is running from the backup file. So we have to migrate it to the production. If you want to delete this virtual machine you can stop publishing. If you want to migrate it to the production you have this option to migrate. Click migrate to production. You can see the status. The status will change from mounted to restore now. The mounted status changed to restore. Now the restoration is started. You can see here, restoration is of this case started. So instant recovery will allow you to run 
the virtual machine from the backup file. So once the virtual machine is up and running, you have to migrate it to the production. As soon as you migrate it to the production, the virtual machine will be restored from the backup file to the production. So thank you for now. Hope you like it. We'll see you in the next session. Thank you very much.